Welcome to Women's Healthcare. Today we're diving into a sensitive yet important topic, maggots meiosis infestation in the ear canal, its causes and treatment options. But before we get started, if you're new to Women's Healthcare, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. And for comprehensive insights, check the description below for additional resources and further reading material. Let's jump right in. Myiasis is an infestation of fly larvae, commonly known as maggots in the body. This can happen in wounds, skin, or orifices such as the ear canal. The removal of maggots from the ear canal is delicate and should be handled with care to avoid complications. First, let's go over the materials you'll need. Sterile gloves, sterile gauze, an ear speculum, an otoscope, normal saline solution, hydrogen peroxide solution, 3%, forceps or tweezers, a suction device, antibiotic ointment, prescribed antibiotic medication if necessary, and pain relief medication if needed. Preparation is key. Ensure a well-lit sterile environment and explain the procedure to the patient to reduce anxiety. Wash your hands thoroughly and wear sterile gloves. Now for the examination, use an otoscope to assess the extent of the infestation and identify the number and location of the maggots within the ear canal. Next, immobilize the maggots. Gently irrigate the ear canal with normal saline to clean out debris and dislodge any loose maggots. If they are actively moving, use a few drops of hydrogen peroxide solution. The bubbling action helps immobilize the maggots, making them easier to remove. For the removal process, insert an ear speculum gently to widen the ear canal for better visibility. Carefully grasp each maggot with forceps or tweezers and remove it. Take care not to damage the ear canal or push the maggots further in. If any maggots are deep or difficult to reach, use a suction device. Repeat irrigation as necessary to keep the area clean and flush out any remaining maggots. Post-removal care is crucial. Perform a final irrigation with normal saline to ensure the canal is clean. Apply antibiotic ointment to prevent infection. If there are signs of infection or inflammation, prescribe antibiotics and provide pain relief if needed. Schedule a follow-up appointment to re-examine the ear canal and ensure all maggots are removed and there are no signs of infection. Advise the patient to report any persistent pain, discharge, or hearing loss. Remember, prompt removal is essential to prevent complications like secondary bacterial infections or damage to the ear canal and tympanic membrane. Seek professional assistance if the procedure is challenging or if the infestation is severe. Educate the patient on keeping the ear clean, dry, and the importance of completing the prescribed antibiotic course. In conclusion, myosis of the ear canal is a serious condition that requires careful and immediate attention. Proper technique and thorough care can effectively remove the maggots and prevent complications. Always follow up with the patient to ensure complete resolution of the infestation. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more women's healthcare tips and insights.